Yo. What up? Thrift Dollar live stream. <laughs> We're gonna do Tekken. Tekken. You know, you probably uh, you guys could probably only see us right now. So uh, yeah, we're probably going to play Tekken. And I downloaded it last night. I had a pre-order and everything. So I'm hopefully to this. we're gonna geek out on Tekken. Um, if anything on the chat, please let us know how everything is right now. And uh, you know, let us know if if um, Thanks, the Sega sound and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's working. <laughs> so we know. Yeah, we know it's working. So great. Let us know if the stream goes or anything like that. We have a live chat going. So tonight we're gonna play Tekken Seven. It came out today. Some people are still waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> Most of us here in Canada, particularly this guy and Ian, they order stuff off Amazon. So... Yeah. So I have to wait. Yeah. Because I'm too cheap for express posting. Okay, you know what? I'm going to turn off those announcements. That's actually no, screw it. If that gets annoying, I will turn it off. But anyway, I'm just going to go play... The King of Kay. Iron Fist Tournament So we're going to start Tekken. Pretty sure there's a lot of crap to go through. But yeah, I'm using the arcade stick. Gary's the controller. Yeah. I wish I had a second one, but these things cost a lot with our Canadian money. Look at this, it's dusty. I haven't used <laughs> it's it in a while. It's been a while. Oh man, I'm excited. Oh, oh sweet. sweet! Yeah, thanks, Sega. So, how's Australia, man? You call <laughs> this, this a knife? <laughs> you call this a joystick? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, honestly, Ian would be here too, Beardman, but he's at work right now. So he's here in Working spirit. Working hard for that money. Oh, and I just skipped the whole freaking intro, sorry. Did I ruin that? To start the game, you must agree to press policy. Ugh. Oh, I did not know we have to go through and all this. Sorry, guys. End user agreements. This is the first time we've actually opened the game, yeah, so it's, we're virgins. it's virgin fresh. Popping our tech and cherry. <laughs> People are watching it's like, damn. You know, Namco doesn't even give you a, a chance to press R1 to just stick the whole thing. You have to agree, and now you have to agree with <laughs> the online policy. No, man. Out of all the companies, though, Namco, they don't disappoint, really. Yeah. I've actually never had a Namco game disappoint me. Oh, yeah, no, they've done good work. Very consistent. I'm just texting, texting some uh, friends here to watch the channel. And I will text too. So it's loading. Don't oh, it just tells you what the loading screens do. Cool, man. Beginner, beginner. <laughs> what does it say? You should read all that on stream. No, Sega. No, I don't read this no. shit. No. <laughs> I read all day. I read the internet, man. Double elimination has been added. Cool. Uh. Oh, they're giving me fight money! Woo! Ooh. Wow, oh, three million dollars. Money! Can I buy panties? <laughs> yeah, oh, Eliza, the, yeah, the, the, see. It's character. Apparently, if you don't get by the day one edition, you don't get yeah. this. It's like fighting games nowadays. You just gotta buy. Let's see like this. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's like Tekken Dead or Alive. Okay, so we're just gonna go through the menu, because we usually do shit like this. Yeah. Story, whatever, mm -hmm. online. Offline, um, so it has arcade doing? battle, treasure battle, this treasure battle. And then you get more money from uh, doing those Versus, battles. which me and Gary will do for a while, then we'll probably go story. Yeah. Because uh, we're still in it, this customization. customization jukebox. Box, so. The music. Oh, all the music's in the game. All, all the game's music. Cool. <laughs> That's flashy. Gallery. So this is like... Oh! Uh, wait! Uh, all the videos. Oh, you gotta buy the videos. You have to buy the videos? <laughs> For a million bucks. They gave me three million dollars. I could buy all of them. I could buy all the Tekken 4 story. Do you want to? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. That's what the internet is for. Monetization. Player information is probably about me. VR mode probably looks stupid. I don't have VR. Oh, I heard it was really good, actually. Um, game options. Okay. Uh, 
That's cool, whatever. Should we leave time limit off? Yeah, we'll leave the time limit off. Do you want to do three rounds? In tournaments, they do three rounds. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Okay. Makes it last longer. Plus, we could learn. Uh, sound options. Okay. Controller setup. It's probably the same. Yeah, let's see. Is he? Is he? Apparently. I thought he was here a couple months ago. Okay, so we'll wait. And then we're planning to play offline mode and play versus battle. Right, so again, see. I'm using the arcade stick, he's using Trangested controller. The controller. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get to it, Dan. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. You press so one. I'm player two now. Whatever. Are you? Are you yeah, working? Okay, player cool. one. Yeah. Hold it, all these oh, characters. We'll go over it. the characters. So Eddie, Kuma, Miguel, Master Raven. Oh wait, is there no Raven in this game anymore? No. Oh. Suzumi. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> Nina. That Street Fighter shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. Lee. Yoshimitsu. You know, for a fighting game, they give enough characters, I think. Yeah. This is great. Compared to like when Street Fighter came out. Street Fighter started. came out, yeah. Long. King. Jack Sain. Alisa. Alisa's cool, man. She has a freaking um, arms. Chainsaw. Chainsaw arms. Gigas. Who is this guy? Katarina. Katarina. Devil Jin. Jin. What? <laughs> they're Jin and Devil Jin? Okay. So they get both they're, they're separate Where's the cat game? girl? I saw her. Where's the cat girl? Josie. Apparently she's Filipina. Oh, is she? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, Got a Filipina. That's awesome. All the world is represented, man. Oh, there she is. Lucky right, Chloe. <laughs> sweet. She probably kicks ass, I bet, though. Probably. Paul, obviously. Steve. Ugh. I gotta go with Paul Blah, first. Brian. Oh, okay. Lay's not in here. No. Oh, I will be uh, Lars. Lars. Sure. I like them in Tekken 6. Where's my. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? That's probably gonna be uh, DLC, I bet. Yeah, man. Yeah, we randomize stages. We don't care. Infinite Azure. Yeah, that's has. a that's yeah that's a new thing. Is that like game. a finishing move or what? Like yeah. Woo! It looks so pretty. Well, why is he speaking English? I don't like that. You know what this reminds me of? Death Stranding. Wow, I'm gonna ask it too. Uh. Oh, why am I going like that? What's that mean? I like ghost around too, like right away. I like Tekken, man. It's just fighting. Like, it's yeah, like no bullshit. Like. Like, except for Hakuma, I bet. <laughs> he has like fireballs and stuff. Oh! oh. Yeah, rock there. Round I know, man, the kangaroo, he was he's pretty kick ass, man. And if he's gonna be like DLC for like 40 bucks, that's not worth it. Rage like, art shit. This is a rage art stuff? <laughs> that's cool. Great. Oh, that was a close one. Yeah, that's the cool thing about Tekken. Like, it's pretty close. Thanks, Noah. <laughs> this Noah? Yeah. 
How's it going, Noah? I saw your little thing that you had with Nathaniel. It was um, your podcast about Guardians. It made me sad at the end. It could have been longer. It could have been two parts that movie. Yeah, man. It, you can tell the pacing was off in that. It was very off. It's like they're playing ball. He's like all Aww. looking like all cheesy and shit. I didn't like that part of the movie. I thought it was okay, but I'm like, ugh. They, I think they went a little overboard. Oh, uh, yeah. I think they kind of went overboard with like a lot of the jokes. In yeah. terms of, it was too many jokes. Like what? I wanted to see people, you know, more action, less talk. Marvel well, man. There's still quite a bit of action, yeah. but yeah, I see what you meant. I mean, like it wasn't a bad movie. It just wasn't. You were hyped up for it. Like a lot of people got hyped up, and. Um, after a while, you know, after a week of thinking about it, after watching it, it's just like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, let's try someone new. Shaheen. I'll use Chosen. This is the Philippines. Oh, Wonder Woman, how is it? Oh, really? Sweet. How did you like it? Wonder Woman! Oh Noah, how's how's the the stream? Like, is the sound good and everything? I'm just wondering. See rage art. I don't know. Like when you go. Look red, at that. I was like, oh. When you go red, you press whatever your rage art is. She looks Japanese. <laughs> she looks Mexican. <laughs> oh cool! Look at the back. Oh boot right physics. We got boot physics. We're just annoying people. This isn't dead or alive, even though we could play. Oh, you know what's funny? This is very different. Like, it's Tekken, but it's very different from Tag and Tekken 6. Yeah. Like, you gotta kinda almost relearn it. Oh! Oh, shit. oh I timed it wrong. Oh! Ah. Damn. Sounds fun to even better than Green Lantern? I you think everything's I better watched. than Green Lantern. I never watched Green Lantern. Because everyone told me. Well, the first it. few parts of Green Lantern didn't bother me. It's like the rest of it got like weird and. Fuck, you know what bothered me a lot? Fantastic Four with Michael B. Jordan, that version. Oh, yeah. That oh, was pretty fuck. bad. That pissed it was me off. low budget. <laughs> that really pissed me off. Then you have like Doctor Strange right now. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh! Wow, cool, that was so much. I think if you press R1, it's your rage heart. It's like a shortcut. Round three. <laughs> Gotta have big physics. Yeah, I suppose. Oh! That's cheap, you can air juggle now, like crazy. This is trying to be Marvel. <laughs> Oh, I wonder how Infinite's gonna turn out. Eh. I don't think I'm gonna be impressed. No X Men characters? Oh, come on. I doubt it. I'm sure they'll have some X Men characters. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, in the face. In the face. <laughs> Not all of them. The first one wasn't that. The first bad. one's alright. The Jessica Alba? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need grab that character? You seem to be doing a lot of throw moves. Oh wow. Fuck, I think I'm gonna lose this one. Oh, I got my Oh no, that's. Oh, we both have it. I'm trying oh, to do one! Oh, punching the dick! <laughs> Is she okay? Like, how did she play, like. I don't know. I think I was just button mashing there. This game's good, man. Oh, Better yeah. than Street Fighter. <laughs> like, you really have to, like, time your combos and stuff, too, with it. You can't just button mash. You have to, like, do it in kind of a sequence. Like, hold back and then... Why does Huarong have, like, a freaking a eye patch? patch? <laughs> I don't know. Eddie, Kuma. Uh, I'll be the bear. Bear! Yeah, maybe. Let's try Master Raven here. Oh. 
I'm gonna fall on my fucking stick. Random! Well, oh, that's you, Lester. Yeah, that's me, yeah. Just taking a look at stuff here. <laughs> oh, fuck this stage, man. Oh, well. You're not hard to be better than V. <laughs> I assume what? you mean five? <laughs> what what time is it in Australia right now? I'm assuming it's the morning, considering it's nighttime here. Maybe maybe it might be the afternoon. I would say like just a, uh, early morning. <laughs> Both the bear actions decent. Ah, oh, oh. bear hug. Oh, Holy, shit. <laughs> this guy's strong. You know, I'd love oh. to see some dude go into a tournament and go all the way with a fucking bear. Probably have them. I miss Mokujin. Oh. I was never good with Raven originally. 10.18 uh, a.m. Wow. Well, I mean, this trip should be up to this. Oh. oh, the bear! The bear is bear, man. The bear looks so real. Oh, yeah. I remember in PlayStation 1 when you're the bear, it's just all polygon. Like, no texture, no nothing. But you knew it was a bear. But back in those days, you had to be really imaginative with the graphics. <laughs> just... oh, yes, bite! Oh, KO! Shut, shut out. Bear beats ninja. Why does he have a cell phone? Does he really have a cell phone? He has a cell phone! <laughs> That's awesome, man. Oh yeah, Kennedy. Yeah, we went to Walmart, bought a whole bunch of different. Doesn't That's Kuma just... mean bear? I don't even know. I don't even know. This stream brought to by the main heart is sour. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. Your weeboo uh, language does not. Uh... <laughs> Do you want to use them? It feels so wrong. How does it feel so wrong? He's in the game. Claudio. In a perfect world, everyone knows Street Fighter stronger than Tekken. <laughs> like Akuma would. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally destroy everyone him. in Street the Street Fighter universe. We, we already know this from Street Fighter versus Tekken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> SNK, SNK fighters, on the other hand, I might see that. I mean, they crossed over like Dead or Alive with with my right. Mm -hmm. S SNK. And Dead or Alive has uh, the Virtua Fighter guys too. Yeah, it was all Sega, right? No. Dead or Alive? No, it was Temco. We got some Japanese. Whoa. Did some screaming kick that I didn't know. The people watching this are like, like, oh, you guys man, are so cringeworthy. You guys are so newbie. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh! Oh! oh, oh. It's a shortcut. It's R1? 
It's just a shortcut. Oh, oh I you blocked, blocked it. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oops. Oh, I thought thanks, those were Lester. unblockable. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought they were unblockable. I guess not. Okay, cool. At least we know. Yeah, we're we're I'm not we're not new at Tekken whatsoever. It's just Tekken Seven in general because the game's no, like two I'm years rusty. Old. I'm gonna admit, I'm fucking. Rusty. This game's two years old technically. It just finally came out on P like on console and PC. Oh sh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay. Yeah. She see, that's the... close not unblockable because that could get cheap. To be honest with you. It's like throwing salt, man, when he's like kicking him. Interrupt it. It's cool how it goes slow motion though. Yeah, I like that. It's... I like that you do have sidestepping, it feels more easier to do. Right? It feels more easier to do the sidestep. Oh, yeah. Like, so that like, you can't get cheaped out if Akuma does fireballs and shit. Oh, fucking bad. Oh, oh what the <laughs> freak was that? What? <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's such a pretty game. I mm. like it. Oh, sorry. Oh, what the? Checking out the live stream? Yeah, we're starting with that one. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is. Yosemitsu always looks so crazy, man. Alright, let's go with Nina. Let's, I wonder what's the deal with the wedding dress. You know what the hell's out about it? <laughs> something like this like the setup we have is now like we could probably just go around and just set it up really quick yeah yeah like it's all good to go so I should really Whoa. disable those it looks different <laughs> what's she supposed to be I mean this is pit No, no. Okay. Oh. What did I do? A backflip? <laughs> <laughs> why, why is your veil in your face? Whoa. I forgot she does stupid shit like that. I didn't even check out her rage art. She probably like, throws you in the air and starts chopping oh, you up. Got a little bit of a cheat there. Oh! What the fuck? Did your head just go off? <laughs> Cool, 
<laughs> That's so stupid. What's her rage art? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, no. Oh! Oh shit! Oh fuck. Yeah, the timing's way My different. My veil! It fell off! <laughs> the veil fell off! Uh, the timing of this one's different. Way different. Music's great though. Oh yeah. It's too hype right now. Feels very uh Stupid love that move. <laughs> uh, block it! Oh I kicked you in the shin! Fuck man! Uh, well, at least it's good. It's just I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to time one attacks. <laughs> No one's really saying anything right I now. I want to rematch that actually. Okay. I don't mind using Nina. <laughs> I remember she had her own PS2 game and it was just it was really shit. bad. <laughs> like whatever happened to her sister? Did she die in the other like in the other games and we don't know about it or? deal with the uh, Alicia was. Oh, oh shit. Gotcha. Oh Luchador. How would that's that pretty weak. That's a pretty weak rage art, man. How would that affect a robot too? I mean really. Oh trying to snap her. Neck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Considering she like literally lets her head fall off. <laughs> If anyone's interested, um, we are doing a live pickups later. So, but it's Gary's stuff. He brought some of his findings from, I guess, Calgary when he went, right? Yeah, Calgary Gong Con. FTR has seen some of uh, what I brought, but uh, what I got, but you know, I thought I'd bring it here, show the people on the stream. Really? Oh, stomp of death. I'm pretty sure that's not the move. Oh, I died the entire three rounds. So. Graphics are fucking it's beautiful. Good. It's very fast paced. You don't have to like in Street Fighter where it's like. They have to do their winning pose and then it does all this stupid shit. It's like, no, we're done. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, Sega, my house. There's some decent pickups in there. Jack. You already tried Katarina, eh? I'm gonna try Lucky Chloe here. Did you try Katarina? Uh, not yet, no. Alves. Spanish. Oh, cool, man. Just the presentation of this game. If I rated this just for playing this last half hour, I'd give it a good 9 out of 10. Well, I'd still give it an 8. It's like very, it's pretty good. Rage Rage Dancing What's the it. difference, man? Well, I'm glad it has the easy button. <laughs> she going to the she going <laughs> no say in my house. No. <laughs> Is she going to a Comic Con, this chick? Nah, I think she's supposed to be one of those girls. Oh, he's a fucking. She's an idol. <laughs> Japanese idol. I see. Oh. I don't know what cat means. Oh, she kind of plays like Eddie in a way. Because <laughs> it's a she's very dense. Oh, that's nice. Oh wow. Fuck. I 
I like that it's she has sparkles when she attacks. The oh, fuck, man. I think she's more of a grappler. Oh, character. sweet, look, it's raining. I love stages at raining. Chloe's a kicking character, that's for sure. Corner! Oh, oh the cheap in the corner! No. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> oh! Break no, that's no, no, fighting! No, no. Oh good, that didn't take off a lot of damage. Oh! <laughs> She's actually a really good character. <laughs> yeah, I like the stage too. I don't know, I love stages with Rain, man. Because like, just remind me of like old Kung Fu movies where it's yeah. like Jet Li movies where they're always like fighting in the rain. Wow. There's a helicopter in the background. Yeah. Holy. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, wow. Oh. She could like attack everywhere almost, eh? Yeah. That's it, man. That can be used for fighting. Fighting game I want to try? Um, the new Injustice game. Mm -hmm. I never liked the first one though. I, don't I, know, I, I heard they sped it up more, so it's not as. The so the, does it feel like more combat then? Yeah. yeah. And like, yeah, sometimes you have to do meter burns to like kind of continue your combo, so the trade off is you don't get to do your ultimate attack thing. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> what's up, man? Love hey, what's chat. up, Yakov? Shit, see, when you put him in the air like that, you could probably do like... Oh! Oh, kicking fiend. Oh. What's up, man? Thank you. Thank you very much. When's the mate? Oh, man, I... You know, if we did that, we'd probably get... <laughs> we'd die. The diabetes? Even though we're eating candy. No, we, we didn't do the chug, no. <laughs> there could be a maple syrup pickup of the week, though. <laughs> yeah, if you stay later, you're gonna do a light pickup. We're just waiting until like more people walk. Okay, I gotta do this. I wanna see how he works. And finally, use a Kuma, boys. How the hell do you use a Duke in. in I don't know, should, do you want, should we just press options and see his movement? No, no, we'll see, we'll see. I'm pretty sure. Screw this shit, we need a Voyager games. Aaron. Super gobble. <laughs> How's the baby? What baby? I don't have one. Gary doesn't have one. It must be either, uh... That's oh, Nate. Oh, why? Yeah, Nate. Nate, Nate's baby's good? Yeah. Oh, jeez. In the desert, out of all places. They're just... Look at that, they didn't even give us a super meter, man. <laughs> okay. Is it just Hadouken? Yeah, yeah. it's Hadouken. Draw Ryuken. Oh, yeah, what, 
Let me practice here, let's see you. Snorking kick, snorking kick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Wow, all the moves set. All the, all the moves are in there. He probably has the, uh... Yeah, do it. I wonder what that is. Yeah, I thought well, so. Yeah, they gave it back. Yeah, but it's not that good. No. <laughs> Usually, in, in the Street Fighter world, that instantly kills you. But in Tekken, no. <laughs> Eat my kicks. Oh. Death. I, I bet you, sometime down the line, Ryu will probably be the next kid. He'll, he'll be a DLC character or a skin for Akuma here. Probably Ken or Ryu? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Man, it feels like I'm playing Street Fighter! Oh, no, okay. Oh, I didn't that too. Does it feel out of place? No, eh? No, it doesn't actually. It feels like playing what's that Street Fighter EX game? Oh. Catch him! Yes. Oh fuck, he's weak. <laughs> oh my knees. I really want to know why he has an eye patch though. Yeah. That... Who's that? Oh, I think I know. I'm not getting that joke. It's uh... Okay, I think I know who it is too. Oh! Oh! Ah! Yes. He even has a fucking Superman. Yeah, I know. I've been trying to do the... Super like yeah. dull shirt. You can. Oh. Which baby? I don't have a baby. Gary Nathaniel has one. So far I'm loving this game, like, reactions are very tight in the button controls, there's no lag in it. There isn't, eh? No, yeah, it doesn't feel like it. If you can do the combos properly, I'm sure you can juggle a guy in the air for like mm -hmm. half of, like 75% of his life. Ugh, Jack. Seven. Fuck, I'm probably gonna lose him. I don't like clunky characters, I mean, it's like... Throw, but I, I put you to the other side. Oh! 
Which one goes first? Oh, oh. we canceled each other out. That's awesome. <clears throat> There was a luchador in the last game, wasn't there? Yeah! Or wait, was it? Yeah. Well, it's too bad he's not in this one. No, wait, that was Virtual Fighter. Was it Virtual Fighter? Virtual Fighter, that was a luchador. I can't get used to this thing here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, too far. Oh, oh, the reach! Shit. Machine gun punch! You know what? You could probably link that into another combo, eh? I'm pretty yeah. sure that's what you could use that too. Yeah. If you're like really desperate. Yeah, Jack sucks. <laughs> Jack always sucked. I never liked him, man. He was just there for... <laughs> just yeah, we do. That's why you have Russell But you know Peters. what? The thing <laughs> is, with Canadian comedy, it's very Canadian-centric. So only Canadians will understand it. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Besides, you know, you wouldn't have Russell Peters without Canadian comedy. Mm -hmm. Making fun of all the minorities. <laughs> she would dojo. Yeah, Lester, you should try Akuma after this. Just, just keep, for shits and giggles. Just for shits and giggles. I was laughing my ass off playing with... <laughs> <laughs> no. That's more north, man. That's more north. I did live off north for like a year, and there were wolves and shit. Like in the winter time. Oh, yeah? They'd have warnings in the winter. Oh, there's a wolf warning. There's wolves in town. I shit you not. Like, it's real. The wolf problem is real. Look at this guy. Oh. No perfect for Lester. Tommy C two I don't even know who that yeah. is. Yeah. It's funny how fast this guy is. Bob, yeah. Yeah, if you can use him properly. Yeah. Which I cannot. <laughs> Guy. You can slap your wife, eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm really liking this game. Especially when you play two players and actually play a fighting game. This is rare for kids today, being in the same room to play together. Yeah. Usually Most they'd be rage quitting at the moment right now. Fuck, I was playing Street Fighter V the other day online. Yeah? So I let this guy take all my energy out until I had this much energy and then I kicked his ass out <laughs> yeah. yeah, he got pretty pissed. <laughs> like, that's the thing about fighting games, man. You can't make comebacks. Yeah. No, well, no, I purposely made him. Oh, really? Yeah, and, yeah. Because I did it for both rounds. Yeah, I kind of... I asked for a rematch after and then he just disconnected from me. It's funny. Just trolled you. I was trolling because I haven't played Street Fighter Five online in a while. Yeah? Yeah. I've forgotten you. I like that these two are rivals. Oh, she's French. Forgot. Yeah. I really like using the really good The PSP version.
feels like those rage arts aren't burned. No, it's like, it's like when you have your like last quarter ditch of life, yeah. Effort. I wonder if you could disable that. It wasn't even in the options though. Oh, what the fuck? Stage transition! Shit. I guess it's to the point where you have to get so used to these rage art things that you have to be prepared to block at any time. Oh, you once, you, once you get up to that orange section of your life. It's uh, like, um... Guilty Gear, right? With the one hit kill? Anyone can fucking do that. Like... Someone could probably just do that the whole time. I like that, that that system is only part of the art systems. Oh, oh yes! Ah. See? Sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> Man, you're weak. <laughs> it's like, why are you being a bitch, Asuka? <laughs> or Asuka. Whatever. <laughs> And we're gonna take plates while playing VR. I wonder how this game is in VR mode. <laughs> well, it has boot physics, so. Yes, it does. <laughs> Gagas. So, alright, this guy. Checking out the stream? Yeah, I'm just checking out the stream. Just giving every character a try right now. Nine people are watching. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I think he was the German dude who does the Mantis thing, isn't he? Well, I'm thinking about the guy from Virtual Fighter. Lion, yeah, that's what it's. Yoshi Mitsu. I don't know who to use, man. I'll try Raven. Or Master Haven. <laughs> oh, the dojo again. Maybe we should just choose them next time. Yeah. Get ready for the next battle. So I guess once it hits 8, maybe I'll start doing the thing. Yeah. Practicing martial arts is fun to pick up on, like how the moves are done now. Oh shit. Oh nice. Damn. Wow. about like some of the other like the ones that had the more characters because you had more um more variety of fighting styles mm -hmm. oh. 
I wonder how many DLC characters are gonna, are gonna add here. Damn, how can I just run? Shit. Not too far. What the fuck is that? The shit. Ninja dis disappearance. <laughs> Sensitive. You should get to try Akuma now? No, no, not yet. No. No. Save him for when you play the story mode or something. Yeah, he has all his moves, man. Like, okay, es fine. Essentially, <laughs> it's, essentially it's Oops. you know, light punch, heavy punch, light kick. <laughs> Is it? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try this girl. <laughs> the DLC girl. <laughs> the DLC girl, yeah. Oh, I like oh, nice. Something new. I, I like the fact that there's such a heavy customization. You can customize the way your characters look and shit. She also has like a Street Fighter <laughs> double Hadouken thing. What? So what's a bloody. Oh, I don't know. Bloody. There's girl. a lot in this game that I just Super don't... combo. At least you need some effort to do some rage art for, uh... Yeah, sooner or later, I bet you people are gonna, like, mod it so that Overwatch characters are gonna be in this game or something. Oh, balls, I'm playing Street Fighter, man. <laughs> yeah, man. She seems like she has a gauge, too! What the fuck? Oh, sh What? Okay, wait, wait. Wait, why? Okay, that's totally from... King of Fighters, man. That's King of Fighters. Alright, let's just forget this. <laughs> she has a Shoryuken too, okay? Jet, jet, jet. You even have the EX moves in here, man. What the hell? She feels like. Yori from the King of Fighters, actually. <laughs> In some ways, just that that dark wave. That's funny. It's weird playing with Akuma playing. I don't know. Wait, wait, I want to try this. Oh shit. Pff, okay. That's it. That's it. Wonder what yours does. When you get to full EX, let's do your super move. Okay. I wanna see this. There we go, okay. I wanna see this. Double Actually, Hadouken. sorry, yeah. I gotta check. God who can! Shinku Hadouken! Can I only do it during rage? That's, that's your thing. That's your R1. Oh. Essentially. But with your EX, you have the double Hadouken thing. Oh, okay, we'll see. That's the top punch buttons. Oh, okay. Holy oh, shit. shit. <laughs> That's cheap, man. <laughs> That's actually cheap. That's like a quarter of your energy when I'm gone. Not even, maybe 40%. Well, the thing is, I can sidestep that anyway. Just That's true, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. <laughs> oh. 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 The chop. Round four. Fight. I don't mind this girl. She's not that bad. Oh, yeah, I gotta get close up in there. I'm gonna put that into a, into some sort of like combo. Did she just do it like a... Okay, she did. <laughs> I 
Oh! Oh, did I get you? Yeah. Ooh. That is deadly. That's like 50% almost. Yeah, I bet you they're gonna put Ryan in this game. Just for the hell of it. That's so <laughs> cheap, man. I don't know, we'll see how Evo's like. I bet you a lot of people are using Kuma maybe. Well, I don't know, but it feels... Honestly, when you play Kuma here, it's like, it doesn't feel like tech in the Kuma. Yeah, it's Street, it's Street Fighter. Fighter. It's like, Street Fighter, like, just legit. with sidestepping. <laughs> yeah, it's not... So, if, you know, Street Fighter players want to get into Tekken, Akuma is like the, uh... The go-to. The entry. It just feels weird, man. I, I'm not... Pr I'm probably never ever gonna use them again. Mm-hmm. It's just weird to me. Because with Tekken cross Street, or Street Fighter cross Tekken, it kind of felt like a mix of Tekken and Street Fighter. Yeah. Yeah. But this one, it's like... For all the characters. Complete, but for this one, Akuma is just Street, street Fighter, Fighter Street. Fighter straight straight. Out. Yeah. I like that we're staying away from, like, the Mishima family here. Yeah. Because <laughs> we've all played them. Let's see what we got here. Jungle, Arctic Snow. We didn't do Arctic Snowfall, did we? No. Snow. It was hot in Winnipeg today. Yeah. Now it looks like it's going to bloody rain. It's probably going to rain later, unfortunately, but whatever. I don't know. Well, we're inside playing video games, yeah, so. Exactly. <laughs> I got a tiger! <laughs> uh, that's good. Just one, sorry. Okay. Change up the sound. Yeah. Oh, the music? Just like the physics on Zalyu's like skirt thing. The skirt, yeah. That looks There's cool. the wind, yeah. The wind effects and the, the, the effects. The, the costumes here are very tasteful, and you can, yeah. like you can tell they're from like. They're actually for fighting. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I don't know about Master Raven. But no. But they're. But uh, Zalyu's, yeah. I like. It's like there's a purpose in their life. <laughs> like almost. <laughs> Even Kazumi's freaking. Outfit's cool. Look at that shit, just like, kicking ass with that. Like, really? like the Shrine Maiden style. Like the only one that's not functional is Nina's. No. It's just that's fan service. I wonder if she has like her leather outfit or something as an extra outfit. Kazumi, I forgot how she. She's into, She's new into this series. I know that. So what's everyone been playing lately? Yeah, like, come on guys, of, chat a, it up with us. There's like a lot of new games coming out, like, or that just came out. Oh shit. What you can do? No. <sighs> Jump in the air! Oh, oh gotcha. Sweet in the air, that's fuck. That was a cool one. Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm a sucker for stuff in the air though. Air <laughs> combo! Well, I should probably see Rick. So it's been a while since I've seen him. Yeah, if you're ever in the area or in Winnipeg, visit Rick at Diamond Bomb Collectibles. Retro Bomb. Retro Bomb used to be Diamond Bomb. At the Ellis Pawn Shop. At the Ellis Thrift Store. <laughs> Thirsties. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been there. Flea Market, sorry, not Thrift Flea, Store yeah. or Pawn Shop. Yeah, I, well, I want to see yours. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, I really like the design on Zelda, you know. Like, you're. Her face animations, the way her hair moves, and the like, it's really well thought out. 
Like, you can tell she got older. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, the other game, she looked like she was fucking 12. Yeah, like, <laughs> I know she slipped to my high school student, but... But yeah, in this one, you can tell she got older. Jeez, this thing is powerful, man. It's like quick strikes and like... Holy shit. She's powerful. <laughs> You wanna do it now or later? 8.30 or Uh... Yeah, you want. I can do this now. Okay. Pick up! We are doing... We got some pickups, everybody. Who's still in the chat? We're doing... Pickups. Gary's live pickups. Came over Gary's lab pickups here. Um, there's a lot of people. No, I was less or new. I came came back from uh, Calgary Comic Con uh, earlier in May. No, just earlier, like a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was a very fun experience compared to comparing a larger con to uh, you know ours. Like it's something that I kind of want to do now every year. Like see a bigger con each year. And I found some pretty good pickups so when I was traversing the, uh, uh, traversing, uh, Calgary. Uh, I was, uh, found a couple of pawn shops. Some were not as crazy expensive as, you know, so I was led How to How is the pricing there? Uh, it's hit or miss. Uh, some places have actually found that they have sold it for cheaper than what oh, you get yeah. there. For people that don't know, in Alberta, it's basically, like, the richest province. Yeah. Like, they make the oil. They have no tax there, and like people can afford stuff. Yeah. So when out of town people like us go, their shit's expensive. They got like hundred dollar contracts, right? Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. So. But what surprised yeah. me is some games were like cheaper than I thought it would be, like when I went there. Yeah. So like when I went to a place called how is it, Game and Trade or Play and Trade, uh, in uh, Calgary, um, found a couple of games for sale. Yeah. First. And these are all Sonic games. So I found three Sonic games for like 10 bucks each, as you can see here. I guess that's not, too, you know, too cheap, but at least it's not too expensive. Like on price charting, each of these are like around 15 US, like 12 to 15 dollars US. And if you get and get some of them new, they're like around 80 bucks for some reason. So uh, first, we'll start off with Sonic Colors. Oh, and these are all uh, no cheaps. Like, we're not going to do shelf padding or anything. These are just pickups. <laughs> okay, cool, yeah. cool. Did uh, you bring a lot? Or is it just uh, that? Just a couple of games and then okay, uh, other cool. stuff. So, Sonic Colors 3DS. Um, I had the one for the Wii and it was like, I want something portable because I really like the Sonic games. So, Sonic Colors uh, focuses on Sonic going through an amusement park that Eggman made and saving alien creatures that help him in his journey here. So... People say this is actually the better of the the two between oh. 3DS and the Wii version. Oh, okay. Because you know, people want that supersonic Your arm's final cut boss. Off, eh? Oh, is when it? Showed up. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there yeah. it is. All right. No, I'm going to show it in the oh. All right. So yeah, this is a really good game. I do recommend it if you can get it for cheap. Really good for the DS library. Uh, another one, Sonic Rush Adventure. Uh, this is one of the. I think this is the second. Uh, Sonic Rush game on the 3DS, uh, which focuses on the old school uh, side scrolling, just like Sonic Colors, but with the added uh, um, the added styles from the modern games. Like you get the speed boost that whenever you want, um, and you know it has this classic 2D styling with like different multiple paths you can take here. So the crazy thing about this is it was 10 bucks used, uh, 50 bucks. Um, 15 bucks, like, uh, if you can find it here, complete, which, you know, all this. And if you can find it new, apparently it's uh, $80. So Holy shit. This, apparently this game is rare. Um, so, <laughs> and just for shits and giggles here. Uh, uh, yeah, uh. the Sonic RPG for 10 bucks. Like, this is the first... Sonic RPG ever and the last because like because it sucks. <laughs> it's yeah I mean how can Sonic Equates to speed, but this is like slow shitty slow Sonic speed. So, like I see what they're trying to get at with um, Trying to be like Mario RPG 
Like, it even has, like, the time-critical buttons if you oh, press really? it, right? But it's like, what's the point if you're moving slow? Yeah. So, <laughs> that, yeah. That makes no sense. Yeah, Noah, it is. 80 bucks if you find it, like, on price trading when I look for it. 80 bucks. Uh, so, next game. So, those are the end of my Sonic games. So I found this, these two... At the uh, well, actually no, I got this also at the buy and sell. That's that's the store I went to. That's Holy fuck, fifteen bucks! Fifteen bucks for Wild Arms one. Though, oh, you don't have the whatever you could print a new one. And there's no uh, manual. Manual. Okay, whatever. But you know, Wild Arms was one of the. I think we all played. We've the all same played. Copy. You know, like Wild Arms was one of the first like Western RPGs. No, not that type. I mean. Wild West RPGs, like you know, you're in the West. It has some magic in there, like kind of mix of Wild West with with the fantasy style genre. It was uh, the first of its kind, and that's why it's a beloved series. So definitely good pick up. There is I there is a uh, remake on the PS2, but it was horribly done by Agitech. Mm -hmm. So, I recommend if you can get your hands on this. I think this is on PSN also. Yeah, it is. Give yeah. it a try. It's one of the better RPGs. You can play all four. You can play all four? Yeah. How about five? No. Nah. Five's not on there? I will warn you if you go play Wild Arms 2 to 4, that they do get more zany. Yeah, it's stupid. I stopped that for three. Yeah, well, it gets to zany anime RPG, and what I mean is, like, when you load up the game, it... Gives you an anime intro, yeah. like so. It's like watching an anime each time you play the game, which is not bad, but some of the intros can get really weird. Uh, so then, the last of my video game pickups, uh, Suikoden. I can't even pronounce the name there. Uh, one of the last coding games ever uh, brought to the West here for the 3DS. Uh, I don't know if Konami's gonna make anymore, but uh, this is one of the better RPGs on the uh, 3DS library though not a lot of people know about it. The experience is you have to do the token gather 108 characters to make your castle and uh, the story in this particular one revolves around uh, saving parallel universes as well as your own so you're not only getting characters from your world but other versions of those characters and other parallel worlds to join your uh, party here. So definitely a good pickup. Uh, I got this actually for 20 bucks here at the uh, Calgary Comic Con. Uh, so I thought it was a pretty good pickup for an RPG lover like myself. How much is it? Uh, or no, you bought 20, 20 bucks. Like 20 much? bucks. Like there was no sticker. I think they were going to be selling it for 30, oh. but there was no sticker on it. So I was like, oh, those other ones well, are 20 No, bucks. I meant um, value wise. Like value wise? I think it was around 30 or 40. Okay. So it wasn't too bad. I thought I'd get a good mm -hmm. deal on it. Uh, so those are my video game pickups. So um, it's going for 89 on Amazon. <laughs> really, Noah? Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I didn't even know about it either. So. Try to find it in Australia then. <laughs> So, uh, I didn't, because I went to an actual Comic Con, uh, I, you know, wanted to get comic books here. So, quite a bit of, quite a lot of good comic book pickups here. As you see, the first one on my list, the entire uh, trade of the Spider-Verse. Uh, I am a big Spider-Man fan, so when I saw this for about 20 bucks, uh, like it goes through several issues, ranging from Spider-Man 2099, Scarlet Spiders, Spider Woman trades, as well as the uh, story of the Spider Verse. It's a good pickup, especially if you're, uh, you know, a Spider-Man fan like myself, just to see the various Spider-Men in, in the different universes. Like they call back to even like the '90s Spider-Man we see here, or right. like, the the '70s Spider-Man's in here. The Japanese Spider-Man is in here with his robot. Like, it's, it's crazy. Every Spider-Man in existence is in this uh, series here. And what's crazy is that some of them do get killed. So, you know, some of your favorite Spider-Man could have been killed in this, <laughs> in this crossover. That sucks. That's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> but that was 20 bucks, so I got a good deal now. These particular trades, uh, they're essentially, like, 
I got for five or twenty dollars. So I picked up as many as I could. So we'll start off with The Witcher. Uh, this is just a side story to The Witcher series. Uh, for for those of you who played The Witcher or read any of The Witcher uh, books, uh, it's about a monster hunting uh, monk of some sorts named uh, Geralt. He is uh, one of the fa famed witchers in this world. On his adventures, he just meets people like this. Uh, does side quests there to kind of help out and you know clear the land of monsters that plague humanity there. Though so it doesn't, he he needs a reason to kill these monsters. If if the monsters are sentient and you know they need it to survive, he may even give them a pass. So. <laughs> Really? Yeah, like, you know, he doesn't kill, like, mindlessly. Like, he needs a reason to. Did, did it? Yeah, they did. Yes, they did, uh, Noah. They did kill the 94 Spider-Man. Uh, some more Spider-Man stuff. Um, got these trades that are crossover series between multiple, um, comics. So this one is Spider- When the Superior Spider-Man- uh, was in effect with the Hulk and X-Men crossovers here. Uh, I haven't really delved into this one, so I can't really say much about it, so I'll kind of pass on that. Uh, next is a story between Spider-Man, Captain America, Sam Wilson, and uh, the Inhumans. It shows an uh, attack on New York City by Inhuman-like creatures, so Spider-Man has to work with Captain America. and. Uh, Medusa, who is the queen of the Inhumans, if you are following the Marvel Universe. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and explain who they are. Uh, you know, fighting off and uh, trying to save the city from this uh, threat here. So, it, it's cool because it goes through three perspectives here. One from Spider-Man's perspective, one from Medusa's perspective, and one from uh, Captain America's perspective. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... You can like see in one perspective, Spider-Man's like you know trying not to embarrass himself in front of Medusa, whereas like you know the Inhumans think Spider-Man is just a like a dumbass. Yeah, a dumbass. <laughs> and like Sam Wilson's just kind of face palm. He's like, oh man, it's Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, definitely a good pickup here. Um, this is another Spider-Man uh, trade, uh, Renew Your Vows, which happened during the Secret Wars event uh, with uh, Doctor Doom here. This is essentially a parallel world where Spider-Man actually married Mary Jane and had a kid. Oh, wow. And that kid also has spider powers. And this universe, somebody has been trying to kill or kidnap superpowered individuals. And so Spider-Man had to go into hiding to protect his family until, you know, something forced his hand uh, to cause him to come out and kind of fight this evil. Uh, so... Definitely good pickup, and this did so well that they continued on the series uh, in the Renew Your Vows uh, series of uh, comics, which is up to issue 7 right now. So definitely, this is a good starter, and then if you want to see what Spider-Man's life would have been like if he stayed with Mary Jane, definitely a good read. Uh, okay, and so the next series I've uh, kind of picked up here, actually I'll leave that for later. Was that your, like, maple syrup almost? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. Um, so next is Wayward. So this is a story about a half Irish, half Japanese uh, girl moving back to Japan uh, to, to live with her mother because mother, uh, things didn't work out with her father. Oh, okay. And then upon moving back to Japan and, you know, getting into the lifestyle, she's powers manifest in her that were actually from her mother's side so she starts seeing things that are kind of connected with the red thread of fate and then she starts meeting other kids and individuals with superpowers that are akin to like yokai which are the monsters and gods of the uh, Japanese lands so it's just crazy she's just like tied up into all this like she meets <laughs> a, a girl who has an affinity with cats um, uh, a, a dude who's like half ogre or something that eats spirits. Oh, really? Uh, oh, jeez. They fight off Kappa, which are like the turtle monsters in mm -hmm. Japan. It's just her kind of kind of coming to terms with her powers and kind of like meeting all these other kids so they can come in terms uh, with their own powers. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, I thought so. That's the the cat girl with her, you know, all her cats. Wayward. <laughs> Wayward. Yeah, definitely good pickup. Again, like I said, these were from like a bunch of like tr trades that you know the guy was selling it for five or twenty bucks. So. <laughs> Couldn't say That's no. such a good deal, man. Like you have so much to read now. Like oh yeah, uh, no, I was reading a lot. I like I'm still trying to get through them and rereading some of these. Oh okay. Uh, so next is Doctor Who uh, stories of the Ninth Doctor here. Uh, if it wasn't for this guy, the do whole Doctor Who series wouldn't have picked up as much as it did right now. Like I still feel that Christopher Ar Eccleston was the one of the better doctors. Oh wow. He didn't need to be like, you know, the dreamy 10th Doctor like, who's heroic or the like wacky like 11th Doctor who's like, you know, also a pretty boy. Mm -hmm. He's just, <laughs> he's just the dude like, he's, he's the Doctor. He just wants to go there, help, he doesn't take shit sometimes. He's kind of post-traumatic stress disorder because he came from a war. Oh really? So, oh jeez. It's, uh, and it shows the fact that he... He can show fear and still do as much as he can to help. So, I believe this is a good side stories of his uh, chronicles with Rose Tyler and Captain Jack here. So, it was a good pickup, uh, and I liked it. All right, so I guess this would be my maple syrup. Uh, there's actually uh, so again, like I was saying, five for twenty, and they got a couple of trades of the Saga series. Uh, if you don't know what the Saga series is, series is, go pick it up. Uh, from Brian, uh, Vaughn, and Fiona Staples, this is a kind of Romeo and Juliet uh, story in a way, but you know, much more fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like this is like really hard rated. Like the the yeah, the is it, artist, is it violent or is it just the, it's very violent because yeah, it's it, like it shows like um, you know two sides of a war and these two like trying to come to terms with bringing a life into the world where it, where it's kind of taboo that or this is the first ever time there was a union between their two peoples oh okay so it's them bringing this kid into the world and the narration is actually from the kid so you're hearing the narration from the kid uh, recalling these events as you're seeing in each of these books so it's right now I have one to six here uh, right now, I think issue trade issue sevens out, and then there's more still coming afterwards. Um, so it's basically on, an ongoing thing. For this. It, it's still ongoing. So, and I've had trouble trying to find these online because they're actually fairly expensive online. People would just pick them up, eh? Yeah, people just like grab them as soon as they see them if they don't have them already. Yeah. If it's already cheap, but. But are you caught up to the point where you could catch up to seven, eight, nine, and you can yeah, find them? okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm caught up here. Uh, definitely, it's like very. The art is amazing. The stories between the characters and the interactions with the world are like great. Like yeah. there's like uh, when the kid, when the I don't want to spoil a lot because I want people to read, to read it, it. But like as you can see, the art's amazing. So that's first issue, second issue. Uh, third issue it's like it just I like the fact that you know it's it's a great story and I recommend people getting it like it's it is a type of you know in wartime trying oh, to bring a new life in okay. wartime yeah, story yeah. and it shows them kind of the ups and downs of what they face trying to live in this galaxy and trying to you know raise their their uh, daughter here so definitely if you get a chance uh, read Saga, and this is my pickup for the week here. And there you have it, folks. There the live pickups, which we rarely do. This is probably like the second time yeah. that we did a live one. Um, yeah, we're going to play more video games, but comment about the pickups. There's yeah. a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure he has more stuff. He didn't bring everything, obviously. No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, G-Man. Actually... He showed me a picture of his um, collection. His collection. Well, he, he redid. What did you do? You, you redid your. Uh, uh reorganized stuff yeah. and like just put everything in drawers, like slide <laughs> out. That's crazy. Right. So yeah, there you have it. Pickups. Pickups. This guy never has any crap. Like it's like he wants. Yeah. So when you watch one of these, it's actually, you know, you're you're getting. 
stuff that most people would not call crap. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Quality. Quality over quantity. And I, uh, I actually play my games. Yes. Because <laughs> some people buy a lot and it goes nowhere. Yeah. Oh, actually, I, think oh. I have one more. One more. Oh. One more. I just remembered. So I got this. Um, is it a comic or is it a game? It's it's involved with games. Oh, okay. Yeah. So got this on sale because it was refurbished at EB for and it was going for one hundred forty-five. Got oh. mini a new uh, a new three DS, the smaller version. Uh, if you get it used at EB, yeah. the cool thing about it is that is that they hook you up with an adapter and a uh, headphones. Oh, okay. If you get it regular and buy it regular uh, from from Nintendo, they don't include the plug. No. Which is stupid. Because yeah. they think that you already have one already. But uh, the reason I why I got it is because it just fits perfectly in the hand. Yeah. Like the XLs are great for battery, but like they're just form being factor. Yeah. yeah. So this is cool and yeah, yeah. You can customize the plates, so next time I'm in Japan, I'm gonna buy some plates for this. And Did they call them. you when you came in, or what? Or you just went in there, you're like, oh, what the hell? I just went in there. Like, I walked into EB uh, at uh, one of the closer malls near my cousin's house in Calgary. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, it was in Calgary. It was in Calgary. So I just walked in there, it's like, oh, 145. That's a good deal. Oh, it comes with the thing, so. New 3DS, that's my pickup, too. So. Damn. Damn, maybe. Um, we're gonna play more Tekken. <laughs> Glad you guys enjoyed that. Yeah. Let's watch the, re the replay again. I have pickups. <laughs> I don't really. Maybe on the next stream. Maybe, maybe on the next stream, yeah. Yeah. It's a good game. Do you have a crack on your phone? Yeah, yeah. The, the screen protector. Oh, yeah, I thought it was your phone. No. So, yeah, if you guys have any informations about about uh, pickups or if you're, you know, interested in uh, talking about them, feel free to uh, chat. Like, come on, chat with us. <laughs> Whoever's watching in the world. Mm -hmm. I know you're there, Noah. I know you're there. You're somewhere. We're somewhere. Somewhere in the world. And other people, other... Six people watching. Yeah, there we are. I think I switched it. Okay. So yeah, this screen's looking good. You still never told us, Noah, how Wonder Woman was. <laughs> okay. Okay. Back on the thing. Alright. So, we're gonna play more Tekken. Yay. And, uh, I don't know how long this stream's gonna- oh. Oh, oh. oh, here! You know what? Because everyone can see this. Lester's digital pickups! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so new stuff that I bought. Um, oh man. Let's see. Lester's digital The digital pickups. age has come. I just bought Tekken last night. Um, Surgeon Simulator? You yeah, got them? It. Yeah, it's awesome actually. Uh, <laughs> Most of these are from last year. I'm looking for the ones I bought I this year. Party oh, yeah, I got this. Um, yeah. Not during this sale, but there was another sale like two months ago. Um, this is free this month, but I bought this copy, so. Um, oh, you know, I bought this. God of War 3 Remastered. Got it. Earth's Dawn, I bought. Um, Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. There was a sale a couple weeks ago. This one I got through the Capcom sale yesterday. Um, yeah. The, these are all my digital. Oh! Assault Suit Lanos. Yeah, me and uh, Noah were talking about this. Yeah. And this is like the spiritual uh, sequel to Cybernator. Oh, really? Yeah. Or uh... it's basically the thing. But yeah, that's about it. Those are Lester's pickups. Yeah, man, digital, man. Noah? I don't fuck around with this. Noah, my power morpher, I do have it, but I do have more power coins coming with it. So, once I get the power coins, I'll, I'll show off the power morpher. Yes, I got a morpher, because I'm cool that way. Mm. <laughs> Can't just have the Tiger Zord, man. Gotta have, like, the rest of them. 
Back to Tekken. Back to Tekken. King of Iron Fist we We're probably going to play the story mode soon, because we're curious to what happens in the Tekken world. I like Paul's America. Why did you choose stage? There's 21 just stages. Just down here. Okay, we play that. Oh no, do we play Dragon's Us? No, I don't think we did. And Temple of the Holy 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 that place! <laughs> this one? It's, it's like a church. Yeah. The hell, man? Arena. This? The Tekken Arena, of course. Have a pad. Day. Oh, a day and a night. We played this. Christmas and Fade. Okay, that already. Kinder, Kinder Gym. Gym. Ugh. Change your plane. Okay. We're gonna play that. Soul Calibur looking stage. <laughs> Let the fates be. Screw physical media, no, man. Jeez. <laughs> For the new stuff, honestly, I when you buy a game these days physically, it just installs to your hard drive. Plus, all the updates are not there. Like, yeah. To be honest, with Lust, I, I kind of agree with Lester. I'd rather play more stuff. Is, yeah. Like, you know. It's good to have it physical, but in a couple years, your discs are u useless because if the servers go off, your disc is useless. There's no updates. Yeah, you can play the game, but it's like the first version of the game. So I'm I'm fine with in 50 years if PlayStation Network is forever gone and I don't have access to my games, whatever. Because most of my games that I buy are cheap, except for new stuff that just came out, like Tekken and stuff. But, yeah, I'm good. I don't know how to do Yeah, the newer... Oh, wow. The, yeah, the newer stuff... I've been downloading stuff for the past two years already, so... Oh, fuck, I missed! Oh, oh thank god. But, yeah. Yeah. Alright man. The only ones I ever get that physical are RPGs. Those are the only ones that I recommend you keeping physical. Because they're just stories, right? You can enjoy, enjoy a story. But it sucks when you load up, you know, Battlefield and there's like a new update. Overwatch, like I feel like in five years I won't be able to play that on PS4 anymore. And I would love Overwatch. And that's not gonna fly. What a shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh wow. He made that into a super low. Fight. You should still have it for your dick. Hmm? The, the super. The Phoenix for your dick. Again, we're not good at this, but just it's have, a good game. We're just friends having fun with this game. What like PS4 you... needs, man, is a baller man. They have a baller- oh wait, no, that's on Switch. And yeah, Switch is kind of a game. <laughs> There's not a lot of games I want for the Switch right now. Like, I already have Mario Kart and Zelda on the Wii U. And I know, like, the Wii U's not a group. Like, great system to a lot of people, but it had enough games that I liked on it. Like, Breath of the Wild played fine on it. Bayonetta. Was Did you good. pass uh... Breath of the Wild? Yeah. I wasn't gonna 100%. Oh, you didn't? You just played for the story? Yeah. Like, I had my fun with it. Yeah, we use basically like Dreamcast status now, man. Only the hardcore actually will end up just keeping that system. I'm pretty sure the people who buy for their kids and shit, they won't. Because there is a lot of stuff on that Wii U that's pretty much you can only play it on the Wii U. And I still use my, uh, and I use my, play, play my Wii games on it. There. There you go. 
External hard drive? Yeah. That's right. True. But the thing is, external, even external hard drives degrade over time, right? Mm hmm. Go oh, digital. And everything just goes to the freaking I'll try Josie. Josie resolved. Okay. This guy. This I don't know, I'm getting to the point with my um, collection where it's like, I picked up what I wanted. Yeah. I, th I think we've talked about this before, but like, the market's just kind of getting inflated. <laughs> it's hard to pick up like older games because they're jacking up the prices for it. It's games I played, or you can just watch on YouTube for. Like, if I want the story, I can just watch it on YouTube, right? That's true. <laughs> I got this. She kind of fights like... What's that girl that you need, girl? Oh, is she clicking? This guy's all strikes. He's power. see like really good players like just go out of this it'd probably be like that's funny i was watching uh ign a while back yeah. and they have a dude who's like can beat everybody at ign with one hand what like really? they invite him from japan so just to kick everyone's asses at ign yeah it was kind of interesting to watch he's like this is all him <laughs> and then he was like press sides a little and then <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. Just to piss him off, there. That's funny. Well okay, my hand's blowing for some reason. Shit, shit. I think you can get those rings later. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get them now. Yeah, like it's it been an hour and a half. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Gotta get them now, actually. <laughs> Fabulous! Oh, Noah, I saw your, uh, your video with Nathaniel. Technically, Nate and Ian, like, their schedules, like, they work, work shift work. Yeah. And it's like, to hang out, it's very... Yeah, whereas Lester and I are like... We 9 to fibers. <laughs> We're 9 to fibers. <laughs> which I recently got into, but I love it, man. <laughs> like, I, I could never go back to what I was doing before. Anyway, this, 
section of um, this segment of Thrift Dweller is brought to you by Parade. <laughs> uh, you can buy six for three dollars and ninety-seven cents. So drink Parade. Get your electrolytes. <laughs> Parade's good for you when you are sick, apparently, from what I heard. Someone told me. It's the electrolytes, man. Double Gin has the lasers. If anyone's bored of Tekken 7, let us know. We will <laughs> change the game. We don't care. It says Tekken 7 stream, but we don't care. Yeah. Hey, the arena. Never been in this one here. Yeah, we're just. Also, you know, if you guys have any ideas what we should do on streams in the future, exactly. Let's yeah. Just give us a shout. Oh, it's Kishoryuken! Hey, Kishoryuken, how's it going? How's Japan? Sure you can. Loving the videos, by the way, kid. So, so far with Tekken 7, yeah, it's very well thought out, even though we've been, we've been playing uh, versus mode. But, yeah, it feels responsive. This is Got probably it. gonna be the fighting game right now uh, for like a lot of people. Yeah, laser, boom, no? Nope. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Maximum spike. <laughs> it oh, is, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty weak. What's your list? Oh. oh, there we go. Round two. Fight. Man, every Tekken man, Brian is like the strongest dude. He's like all power. And speed too, though. Like, just. He's like a. Boss character, if you think about it. Countering is easier in this one, too. Yeah. I find. <laughs> Maximum Spider! <laughs> That's gonna be inside joke now. Yeah. Did you hear that the Marvel uh, Infinite got uh, the, the fighter list got leaked? Yeah, there's like no X-Men in there. Yeah. Obviously. It's not MCU. Yeah, because they got promoted. Um, I got Eliza. I pre-ordered Tekken, yeah. I got Eliza. Um, apparently it's in the day one edition of the game. Um, but I didn't probably gonna ask it. I don't know. Oh shit, I thought it was dead. I don't know how it is for like the people who don't get on the first date or pre-ordered it. Well, Me personally, I'm not a fan of this DLC. Previous. Yeah, DLC crap on first day. Because it's. It, fuck, it's just a cash grab. I understand it, but. Like, look it's at too uh, good. Marvel vs. Capcom. Like, there's six characters that are DLC characters. And if you get day one, you get Sigma. So you pay, well, in our case, $80 Canadian. The DLC is, what, 30 You're paying $110 for fucking game. Oh, like, what the fuck is that shit about? You can block that too, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? You just need to know how to use him. He's a crazy beast of a character. Street Fighter for a while. I'm probably just Tekken. Yeah, man. To be honest, if, once I get my copy, I'll challenge you online or something. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Heck, we, we've I'm already seen play. we can like uh, share play this, right? Yeah. Interesting. Share play is cool, by the way. I like it. We play Marvel like that. Well, we did for a while. Yeah. Arena. Arena again. Whatever. Hard stage. My next project, I'm probably gonna build one of these. Oh yeah? This was bought, but I want to build build an arcade stick. Because I don't want to buy another one. Oh if God. you build one, you can buy buy the parts for like... I might buy parts. like a mini one just so I can take bring it here. I lucked out. I got this as a gift. <laughs> like last year. I don't deserve it, but what whatever. What the fuck. heck? What's the Hulk doing here? Oh, it looks oh, like... Red Hulk. What the fuck is this shit? Okay, he's weak. He's fucking strong. 
Yeah, you can get out of grab here. If you can press it right. Oh, oh you can grab it in the air! Nice. <laughs> Give you DLC for like ten ninety nine. Probably. Round three. Fight. This guy is actually pretty decent. I don't know his story though, but. One more match, then go to the story. Yeah, yeah. We've tried at least all of the characters already, so except for Panda. And Mitsu. Yeah. I don't want to try it. I don't need it. Don't cause it yet. I'll do Panda. Dragonov. Panda's exactly like fucking Kuma. Mm -hmm. So we need ideas for our next extra life. And I think, like, we want to do that. It's actually worth it. You know, doing it for charity rather than yeah, just going around. Yeah, we hang out, but it's cool when you do it for charity because you have a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> There's a purpose to it. So, if anyone has ideas, last time we were like shooting each other with Nerf guns and stuff. It's funny that you guys shot me in the face with it. Yeah, I think we all got hurt except for Ian. Out of that whole day, Ian didn't get touched. Round one. Eh, panda. Oh shit. Ow! <laughs> oh, jeez, that pen is strong. Zoom into the guy's face, eh? Oh, <laughs> it's just detail on the face, too. Nice. It's like, shit, what is he gonna do to this bear? In real life, there would be blood, but not in the Tekken world. Bandai Natural does really good fighting. Like they make sense. 
like the Dragon Ball game was pretty good, the One Piece game was pretty good, the Naruto game was pretty good. <laughs> like, and they all kind of felt right to that world, right? This Tekken just... Oh shit. Okay, story mode. All right. Can, uh... you no, I'm you good. I'm, I want to chill. Okay. You have the stick. You have the power. for an hour and 43 minutes. I have three million dollars. Gallery completion with only 3.2. 20 times and we haven't got a freaking uh, trophy. It's not enough, man. Oh, Star mode difficulty. Level 3, because I'm not good at this. Does everyone have a story? Oh, it's just all one. I Pro think it's just like you... It's just like any other fighting game now with a story. You switch between them every switch oh, characters. Okay. So I bet you're gonna start off as like, since it's the Mishima Saga, you're probably gonna be one of the Mishimas. At the time, I believe that love was all anyone needed. What the fuck? For some years now, I've been investigating a certain father and son. And I managed to get a hold of the first letter the boy wrote to his father. It said, Father, one day, I will tear you to pieces. Mm. That's funny. So dysfunctional, this family. Yep. Several decades ago. Oh yeah, this is when he fucking throws him off the cliff. If no one knows about the, yeah, Tekken 1 explains everything. It's kind of funny. And it took seven Tekkens, because they're fighting. From Tekken 1 to 7, the whole family is, like, killing each other. And the world gets fucked up because of it. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Oh, shit. Am I supposed to do something? Oh, shit. This is tutorial. Nice. Watch this freaking DLC. Be the kid. <laughs> Story assists. L1. Ah. I'll just play. We're play not die. bitches. That's cool, man. Young Kazuya. I remember the anime movie. It's just going over the events of the first and second Tekkens, I think. Because the second Tekkens when you had Jin's mother, right? Jin? Yeah. Jin Kazuma. Boom! Eat that, man. This is child abuse. <laughs> I'm using the uh, Hori Rap for Silent. This is the Silent version. Put it that way, man. Yeah, I yeah, it's all corded. Yeah. The Hori Rap for Silent. Oh yeah, here's the scene that you see. All remastered in HD. Yeah. <laughs> Throw Broke Kazuya you off. You have to sure. do it. This is cool, man. Oh, I got a token. For There's the trophy. Yeah, sweet. That's Check cool, man. Check-ins. I'm liking this story. This is great. fight in the fucking desert, I bet. Wasn't that one of the levels we saw? Was it a desert level? Was it? I don't even I think know. think so. Oh, who's this guy? It's great. Oh, Nina. See? She has a leather outfit. <laughs> I don't understand the wedding outfit. <laughs> Maybe they'll explain it in the story. She'll marry somebody. As leader of the Mishima Zaibatsu, Jin Kazama plunged the world into war. He 
sent the human race to hell. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Fear and hatred envelop the globe, filling it with despair. Yeah, kudos to Namco, man. Like, they put a lot of fucking thought into this. <laughs> yes, kid, that's right. <laughs> The Yang was able to glide to them with his eyebrows. Awesome. I think I would have probably um, appreciated Street Fighter V more if they waited just as long as Tekken. Like, you know what? It's coming out. Like, it's better to like, you know, work on a game and complete it, right? Sooner or later, though, I think they're gonna go down the route of like Konami. And, like, Gambling machines or something. Pachinko machines. Pachinko yeah. machines. Have you tried one when you went to Japan? Yeah. No. No. No, I did not. Whoa, Jin's in the Middle East. So uh, that was the guy walking in the thing. <laughs> G Corp. We should call Gary that G Corp. Thinking about changing my name. <laughs> What, your real name or just. No, no, uh, Game Over Gary and just alter it to Game Over Guru or something. Yeah. <laughs> she taught him in English and they're talking him in Japanese. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> Hihachi. I wonder if I have to play as Hihachi and like go through different levels or some shit. Yeah. Just play Mortal Kombat style? Yeah. If there were demons. That's right, kid. What form would they take? The answer to that question still eludes me. That day, I was reporting from a battlefield, gathering news about the war to bring to the world. When I headed back to the barracks, a message was waiting for me. I was dumbstruck. How could my hometown have come under attack? When I returned, nothing was as I remembered. The roads used to be quiet. Hardly a car in sight. Also, Ken, I gotta say thank you for making the show uh, review kins and like like combining them into two hour formats for me to catch up on. That's pretty awesome, man. You have some crazy videos, I wanna say. I gotta thank you for your Akiba um, like uh, chips here. Like next time I go to Japan I like I know where to go thanks to you, buddy. Hopefully next time I see you there too. And streets echoed with the memories of cool children and delivery trucks. Everyone I love. You know what amazes me? People on YouTube watch with other people these fucking stories. Like me personally, I would skip it. But yeah. <laughs> well, it's like that's the thing, right? They're too lazy to go through the games, so you just watch it. Yeah. It's it's that mentality. You're sitting on a couch watching with friends, right? Well, you're not really there. I bet you this robot character is going to be DLC eventually. <laughs> Plays the robot. I don't think they're robots. I think they're just soldiers with, like, hel like helmets on. <laughs> well, nice. Be sure to uh, watch it, kid. And by tonight, you mean tomorrow morning for us. <laughs> it's always been like that in Tekken. Like, some of the characters speak English and some of the characters speak like other languages. And they fully understand each other. It's great. It's like everyone has like a universal translator in their head or something. Oh, okay, so this is where this stage comes from. That's a very... It's a spider elevator! <laughs> I wonder if I can fight Nina here then. Probably think so. What are you doing? Catch him, quick! 
I guess she's like the CEO, acting CEO. I suppose. Nothing for Jin, I guess. Okay. So yeah, I think we're gonna switch to Hiyaki soon. <laughs> Soldier man, it's crazy. Like, so they probably they're gonna put him in the game, man. Fuck, that'd be cool. What kind of move set would he give? Whoa, two. Oh, I think they just keep on coming, man. He's fucking shooting me with the gun. Nuggie. Oh. And their bodies are just in the way. <laughs> Just ragdoll effects, I love it. elevator like that. <laughs> it's just like tentacle arm, like robot arms just grabbing Only in Japan, right? Yeah, only in Japan. Kick actually took a bit of her help at the beginning there. I can't wait to, like, I want to see that point where Akuma can just comes in. Oh. Because <laughs> you know it's gonna happen. Oh, oh, she countered you! That? She countered you! 
fuck, that's not gonna work. Wow, I died at the first part of the game. You fucking serious? Oh, I know. Wow, I suck, man. It's Sorry, man. It's all good. I'm not here to, like... That's only a medium second. <laughs> Maybe I'm not going aggro enough. I can imagine the Widowmaker skin on her. That's what she does do. I should have saved that rage art earlier. Yeah, just save it for the end. Because I had it, and then the fucking never seems to be too transition to CGI. <laughs> Let's do this. Trophy earned. as well. You can be my wife. <laughs> Looks like all of a sudden he's in a suit. I own shit again now. What the heck just happened? 
So what do you think of the story so far, chat? Imperial's very still starting out, but it's kind of slow start. News of Heihachi's return to the Mishima. Who's this guy? I don't want to know. I don't know. This is just, just some reporter dude. Reporter dude DLC. <laughs> he fights like Ryu. <laughs> Stephen Colbert. Just watching this game? Yeah, I'm just watching it. I'm not even taking Oh, shit. In the darkness, a fellow reporter visited me. Offered me a ray of hope in the form of an expose on G Corporation. <laughs> so some informant. G Corp were at war with the Mishima Zaibatsu. And it appeared that they had the public on their side. People believed that the Zaibatsu had started the war. So it was only natural that they saw G as their thing. However, my reporter friend came into the That's good, man. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Can't wait to do more of these. We'll have the retro stuff soon. Like, yeah. It's, it's, or maybe later. Maybe. You got Mega Man on here. Yeah, you can play Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, I saw the Disney afternoon. Like, you were talking about the Disney afternoon collection, right? Yeah. Yeah, even I was like, as cool as it, as it is, I don't think I would play it right away. No, you're basically wasting 18. It's not this. Oh, wow, this is after Tekken 4. It says there's King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Oh, this is where you fight all the jacks. Yeah. Well, I think you better get ready. Fuck, I'm surprised they have like a good quality version of this old CGI still. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they didn't redo all this, did they? No. They could have. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, you're switching to Kazuya. Oh wow! Oh, I my ass kicked. Oh, you know how they should have made it like feel old school? It plays like Tekken 4. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! He's getting chopped in the face, man. I don't want to throw this guy. Okay. I just keep doing the same move. I think it's supposed to tutorial you for the the back guarding thing. Can't just jump in right away. Right? He's actually Oh, cornering. Fuck off. Oh, what? Oh. Probably have to kill the wild man. More. Oh, wow. Oh, I knew he would have stomped your I last go. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, I thought I was going to die. For your neck, you should have Noah on. Yes, we should, Noah. Yeah, man. You know what we were thinking, Noah? Um, man, get like a hall or something, because like a whole bunch of us could probably just be on the same room. Yeah. Like, I don't... The problem is, though, the internet connection. Yeah. Like, we have this shit to use. But it's just the internet. Yeah. Oh, now you're hit up. It's supposed to be a tutorial lesson, so like each time 
You got to attack me now. Yeah, yeah, you got to block each time there's a break in the Oh! Jesus. down just like Kid Kuro even said. I wonder if it's gonna go back to like other Tekkens. <laughs> Everything. And just everything? Just everything. two right beside each other yeah. so they can switch between them? See, if we had, if we had like crazy really fast, and well, technically we do already, but... Do you want to do it here? We, we could do like two live streams at once. Okay. I'd love to. So if you get bored of one, you could do the other. Two games going on at once. <laughs> Soul Calibur, man, the stage. <laughs> Let the fate decide the fire's quarrel. Speaking of Soul Calibur, what do you bet that there might be a Soul Calibur 6? Only on Scorpio. I Only on Scorpio? I can believe it. Did you hear that Injustice is gonna have. Um, 12 DLC characters. Oh, really? Jeez. So they announced three already, so it's gonna come in like. It's like uh, Mortal Kombat 
X, right? Mm -hmm. They had several DLC characters too. Sub Zero, um, Starfire, and Red Hood are the first batch of three. Uh oh. It's like, oh, I can understand Spanish or Italian, whatever the heck this guy's saying. Did he want the double chain? Was that the whole thing? Oh, I don't know. Because he wanted power. Oh, he has projectiles? Are you taking a block from no? No, he's just no. I guess you have to sidestep them. That's a cool freaking suit, man. It's probably one million dollars in the store. Holy shit. Which one? The one you actually went? Holy shit, he's taking a mess. Kick never works, man. You have to do it at the end of the game. Holy, holy. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I try? Yep. Oh. So this is the four face one, yeah. each other and we're blocking that shit. Well, not that projectile. <laughs>
glowing hands. For this for a week, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get decent at it. Stop by, said hi. Noah's, I assume, still watching as well as maybe you say at your house. Keep sure you can. Day in, day out, I found myself at the library. <laughs> this guy's boring. Company directories. <laughs> can you skip it? <laughs> you name it. I scavenged them all. Well, may I use your watch for a Yeah, yeah, no.
which brings us to the second hero, Jin Kazama. Seizing control from Heihachi, he reigned over his empire until only recently. He was also the one who started this damn war, which took everything from me. I dreamed of one day killing him with my bare hands. <laughs> he came with them. Do you know something? Inhuman. <laughs> what the fuck? So you're telling me these were mutants? What <laughs> the fuck? Inhuman mutants. The two different things in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> It's funny how there are two different things like in Street Fighter and in Tekken. Like, they have that Dark Hado stuff. Yeah. And then this has like the Devil Gene. Everything looks clear. I'm rooted to the United Nations HQ. Oh fuck, he's gonna fuck up the United Nations. Yeah, well, see. Oh, he's gonna fuck up the helicopter. First off, why is he wearing a jacket in the desert? <laughs> oh, I bet you're gonna go into like killing me. Who's? Get in the Middle East, okay? <laughs> oh, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Bad voice. I sell that way. Should, we got a stream. They should make them. Like, could we stream some of your like light gun games? Yeah, we could. Yeah. That's something in the future, boys and girls. I have two of the things now. I just need the uh, I need the gun thing now for um. Case. The yeah, I need the attachment for um, for the second one that I bought. 
Lars? <laughs> the acting got progressively worse into the story he was playing in the beginning. Things just got a whole lot more complicated. No, there's no point. <laughs> I wish you would be funny, funny man, like we do a pickup for you, but Trevor's all talking to us in Japanese and we just respond back in English. That'd be so fucking funny. Did you hear about that new translator thing where you just speak into it or they speak into it? Oh the Google app? Or it's not the Google thing, not Google it's something app? else. Tekken five. <laughs> this one, yeah. No way, no. No? This is um I guess five. But that was a Kuma, wasn't it? It's from the trailer. <laughs> this lead sent me on a journey through countless documents, where I finally found her name in a single paragraph, Kazumi Hachi. There was no mention of what kind of life she and Heihachi had led together, but it confirmed that Heihachi was Kazuya's father and Kazumi his mother. That's when I realized something shocking. Oh shit. So far, of course. Like, how the fuck can you do that to your own kid? <laughs> like, all the fittest, man. Seriously. My eye. G Corp. We have a handle on Heihachi Mishima's movements. It appears he is conducting a thorough search. Well, that was a fast chapter. <laughs> yeah, was fast. Okay. Frustration had become a part of my daily life. Eventually, I ran into a guy in a restaurant. And flamboyantly went like back to his box. <laughs> Looked at me as though he could see the darkest depths of my soul. <laughs> this guy. So you're the one who's been looking into the Mishima's eyes. He looks like he's just gonna pick some chick up. He's like, hey, I'm, are you, I'm going to the Iron uh, King of Iron Fist tournament. How about you? The way he stared at me from the door, let me know that he wanted me to follow. Him. <laughs> it's like come at me, boy. I walk slowly. <laughs> as we left the restaurant, he formally introduced me. His name was Lee Chao Long. Lee Chao Long. Excellent. I suppose we're training speaking Japanese. <laughs> yeah, only in Japan. Oh, you're gonna fight her. <laughs> That's a nice entrance. <laughs> What's happening in Japanese things? I'd rather we not do this and they fucking fight anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, trophy. Yeah, trophy, man. Yeah, that's her old costume, right? Yeah, that's her old one. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Look at her head back by teleporting. The robotics in this world are. Oh 
Yes. Oh, oh fuse it right away. At least we get to see it. <laughs> I hope she still have lots of health, dude. We have yours now. No. Oh. Now you here. Well, <laughs> cutscenes from the older ones, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that I can go into comedian moments like this. I already knew about Li Chaohan's company, Violet Systems, famous for its humanoid research and brilliance. Yeah, I want to build one. I want to build one. Fuck, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was thinking about buying like one of those smaller ones. I listened intently, excited about this new breakthrough. Please now. Yeah, maybe I should buy one of those like smaller, like the PlayStation official smaller ones. It's like 59 bucks, isn't it? For and then we can kind of like use those and kind of put them in like a side by side thing. Yeah. Because there's one that Horny makes, and it's small. You saw it. it yeah, it's that was like the this. one that I was looking at, right? Yeah, it's 59 bucks. Or I can buy like the Street Fighter controller <laughs> thing. Lars. <laughs> Her fucking They will end, like add the soldier guy in, uh, as the Mokujin character. 
Oh, you think so? Because, like, from what I can tell, he, he uses different styles each time you fight him. What so we'll the hell did I just do? <laughs> Because right now he's using, uh, yeah, he's using Law's, uh, attacks. Originally, and then he was using some other guy's moves in the last time he knew, it was, uh, Hihachi he was playing. So yeah, you know I can see him as the Mokujin character. <laughs> Is that a taunt? of Jet Li and uh, cause he has the and stuff but he also has some Mission 8. <laughs> or is it chapter 8? Chapter 9, I think. <laughs> well, back to Nina. I'm stuck at trying to beat Akuma on that special match. Oh, oh spoilers! Yeah, Akuma's kind of crazy. I've never been to that special match yet, so because we just started this, so. But still, it's like when we tried Akuma, it's like he's oh, too I'm cheap playing for Street this. Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, if my cousin and I were playing, he'd just be spamming fireballs. I could tell by the look in his eyes that he was A few days later, I headed to kill him. The old guy I contacted was already waiting for me in the underground house where he was waiting for me. And I'd like to know more about the mystery of the Hachijo household strength. I decided to be straight up. Seems to not be a kind of bad. I didn't believe in devils. I had no reason to. But Lee had said to me that. 
We're probably gonna end this stream soon. We've been doing it for like almost three hours now. Yeah. Was it? It was pretty good though. It was good, yeah. It was a nice uh, trial run of the new system here. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. We still got. We got 12 minutes left. 12 minutes left. So yeah, I hope you guys like the uh, pickups and the gameplay we did. Tekken 7 is a pretty solid game. Yeah, man. I like it a lot. Like, I'm, this is probably the fighting game for this year, I think. Like, fucking Street Fighter, it's good. Just, it, you know, it, it, there's... Unless they announce a new Virtua Fighter <laughs> at E3. Which is never gonna happen. Yeah, which is never gonna happen. Did that, that Dead or Alive come out here? Yeah, I have Dead or Alive. Five? Yeah. With my? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yes, you do, Noah. Who knows, Noah? Maybe in the future you'll be in it. Shout out to Nathaniel. It's his birthday tomorrow. Is it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> well. Oh, this is from fucking... The yeah. trailer. There he is. Man, Street Fighter rules all. Look at that, he's fucking making him bleed. Well, he's not doing too good right now. I'll put that spooking! Well, Shinku Haruken! Fuck it! There you go. Nakuma. Oh, I'm Akuma now. Damn. Oh, cool. They have a look. He's just shadow. He's just like unknown. It's just like in the original full Street Fighter game. Holy shit! He just charges up the water. Oh, he's dissing you too. Ah. 
Okay, one more try. And then I'll go after you. <laughs> Joystick, everybody. I'm used to this. Okay. My inner Street Fighter key. Oh no. Well, not right here. sense right it does it at the right right times so it, like it's not unnecessary there we go I don't have like a huge advantage right now freaking get oh it does nothing fuck man Yeah, usually like when I play games, like I refuse to put the difficulty level down because like you're gonna get used to it where you you'll eventually beat it, right? So yeah, like you if you fuck up, it's because you suck. You suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> like, We're yeah. not. That's the cool thing about like when we play, like all of us, like when we know we fucking suck at the game, we'll admit it. It's just a video game, man. You exactly. learn from it and you get better. Oh, you fucker! Oh, <laughs> just <laughs> juice me out! Shit, you had it. Oh, what the hell? No, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because the PlayStation buttons on the side here. Oh, is like it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. 
Oh, oh fuck. even the closest so far. You were the closest, man. You got him to like to one more hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll try to beat him, then we'll end the stream. <laughs> we gotta beat him. I guess this is the special match he was talking about. Save and go. I'm pretty sure it continue. The problem is with Akuma here, it's not like tech and flow. It's, it's, it's seriously speed fighter, speed fighter I, flow. I feel sluggish, man. Yeah, it's it's hard. You gotta adjust. at the clock and I'm all like it's almost done fucking the jacks again oh, oh you press the share button press the PlayStation. here you go jacks again jacks <laughs> jacks six See, Akuma doesn't even know the fucking Tekken world. Like, what the fuck is this? He's not registered in our database. Cool, they're fighting together. Okay. So yeah, um, we're gonna end the stream here because uh, we finally beat. No, you don't have to pause. It. You can keep on playing. Um, yeah, we're gonna end the stream here. We've been doing this for three hours. We're gonna play more of it, but we're probably just gonna end it. So, uh, 
Thanks for joining the uh, Tekken 7 launch day thrift dollar stream. Hope you enjoyed it. We're probably going to do more of these. We have everything all hooked up. Yeah, and hopefully Ian and Nate can join us next time. Yeah. It's like, That's when we'll have the, you know, the thrift dollar champion match. Yeah, the thrift dollar invitational. Because technically Gary here, this is, there, there is video of it. We, there was a thrift dollar invitational tournament we had like a year and a half ago. Or last year? Probably last oh, year. Was, was it last year? It was last year. Man. It was last year. And this guy won the championship. Like we played Mega Man Soccer. Oh fuck! And we decided to have some like invitational, ah. invitational, um, invitational um, championship. And Gary is technically the thrift dollar champion. So uh, it has to be a retro game. We have to play. Yeah, it has to be a retro game. So anyway, peace. You guys have a good night.